Hey guys, I'm Adam LZ, and today I'm going to be showing you how to fufanu. You're going to want either a steep bank or a little quarter pipe. Coping's okay, but you just want something that you're comfortable tire tapping maybe. You're going to want a bike with brakes. Chances are you probably already know how to fufanu or a bubaka if you have brakes, but just in case you don't, I'm going to show you how. You want your brakes to work decent, enough where it kind of stops your bike. If they're really loose, you'll probably end up squeezing your finger. So what you want to do is either tighten this a little bit this way, or tighten it a little down here, pulling the cable more so your brakes you don't have to pull as hard. Otherwise, when you grab your brake, you're going to squeeze your knuckle. So the first thing you want to do is get a bubakas down. And a bubakas is when you go straight up a ramp, and you land like this pretty much, with your back wheel on the coping or edge or whatever you want to call it. You kind of stall out a little bit and go back in. Make sure you let go of the brake when you're coming back in. Because if you have your brake held when you land back, you're going to fly back and you're going to be on your head. So you want to go up, tap, better to lean more forward than back. Lean back and bring it back and go in. This is my race bike by the way. That one was a little bit low so, I mean, you want to get these pretty decent first. Next step is to go for the fufanu. It's extremely similar. What I like to do them and how I think they look the best is when you go almost straight up. You don't want to come at it too much like a tire tap, otherwise it won't feel right. You want to go almost straight up and get your bike like this. You don't want to be like that. You don't want to be perfectly straight up. You want to have a slight angle. And when you're up in this position, you want to be just like you're doing in the bubaka, but almost looking into the ramp. Then when you pop off, you want to turn in land front wheel first and go back in. It's pretty simple. It's a little scary in the beginning, but you can do it with time. Sometimes that'll happen. When that happens, you just gotta kinda like tweak it out a little more. It took me a while to get, but with enough practice, you'll get it. either hop into it or you could just ride into it. I do both sometimes. Now when I kind of came back a little bit, you'll get the feel for it. I'll do one just riding up. A good trick is to give a little bit of pedal pressure and then I'll help you go in. You don't want to go too high though because obviously then your back wheel slide out and you'll be on your back. But um, yeah, I mean it's pretty easy. I wish you guys good luck with it. Hopefully you like my race bike that I never ride. Forgot my bike at my dad's house today, so couldn't ride, so we figured make good use out of it. Um, good luck. If you have any questions, you can get back to me. If you want to be doing it the same way you spin, got to make sure you get that good pop, and uh, it'll be easy.